to our Facebook knowings. I wanted to thank you all for the brilliant questions that you've sent to us. And though, of course, I can't answer all of them, I wanted you to know that I do see them all. And I'm sending you great love and the most radiant light. Chris's question is from Valerie Grace. Would you please explain to me why it is that there is such clarity after being quite ill? For example, suddenly everything makes sense. Yes. That's a very important question because illness always has a purpose. And the purpose is to rid the body of some toxic poison energy, which ultimately comes down to emotional thought forms. It's our negative emotional thought forms that allow evil qi, as we say in Chinese medicine, which could be a virus or a bacteria, uh, to enter us. And so what happens when you're really ill is that all of the distraction about what the rest of the world is thinking, what you have to do tomorrow, uh, all of your self-projection, uh, punishment, uh, dissolves away because the body is busy focusing on uh, surviving and healing. As it heals itself, it burns out the toxins. That's what healing is. Releasing the negativity and the toxins from our body. As that moves out, then our brain is at peace and it can, it can function in these deeper levels, the alpha levels, the theta levels, when we're really ill, we sleep a lot. And as we're sleeping, we begin to recognize what is true and who we are. And so all of the debris uh, falls away and it gives us that focus. Would that we could do that while we were well. To not be so concerned about the outside world, but to be concerned about the joy of our true self and how we share that with the outside world. So illness can give us a great gift and we can see not only what makes sense, but we can see what is true for ourselves. And that's what allows us to heal, to lift up, and to go on in a new way, a way that belongs to our true self. Chris, this is a question from Marcello from Copenhagen. Dear Chris, could you talk about nutrition and what the items are one should always consume in order to have radiance, energy, and disposition? And on a slightly shallower side of life, do you have any health tips for somebody who wants to lose weight? Many hugs and thank you for your constant loving guidance and inspiration. Oh, thank you, Marcella. Each of our bodies is completely unique. So what might make one person um, light and uh, radiant and might not nourish another person. Or what you eat in the morning uh, may be too heavy for you. And so the Truly, the cosmic law of the health of the body and the radiance of the body is within our consciousness as that consciousness connects to the consciousness of our body. What I mean, Marcella, is ask your body what it wants to eat at any moment. It comes time for breakfast, you want to say, do you want this, do you want that? If you allow your body to choose, you will feel that quickening that goes on, the oneness with your body, and it will provide you with great health. And I would say that there's one uh, substance that I think is very important in today's world, and that is the blue-green algae. It could be coming in the form of uh, spirulina, which is a green algae, or the essential blue-green algae, or sun chlorella. Any of these very ancient forms of life uh, are holding with them the secret of life force and radiance because they use the light of the sun to create chlorophyll. And the chlorophyll holds all of the nutrients that our human bodies need. And so uh, it's very important to add that into your diet in whatever way. Anything that's green, of course, that has chlorophyll is useful. But these ancient, ancient first life forms are the ones that support us the most. They have found that the blue-green algae supports the, the growth or the, uh, the stimulating 
energies of serotonin, or, or neurotransmitters in the intestines, which change the brain, which makes us happy. When we're happy, we are radiant, because we're not hiding, so we radiate out. I would use those things as, as one of the most important things that we can do to access higher levels. We have done studies and found that the blue-green algae influences telepathy. It influences psychic ability. And those things are very important to our emotional and spiritual health, which of course influences our physical body. There are many ways uh, and kinds of food that help us to lose weight. But two tricks that, that I would say uh, I think are useful. One is, every time you're going to drink water, always drink a glass of water before you eat. And when you're going to drink that glass of water before you eat, put your hand over it and say, this is for you, body. This water will make us thin and strong. If you put that programming into the consciousness of the water, it will do that. It will not only flush out toxic waste that make you heavy, but the water will nourish the body and make it feel that it is full, so that you don't have to eat as much. So that's one way. And the second way is, is a little bit humorous, but I'll say it, see, being a fearless being, and that is that if you could remember, every time you have to pee, if you said, I am peeing out all of my fat cells, you would be amazed at the difference. So again, it's, it's using the fluids in the body to wash out what's sticking in the body and uh, to allow the body to have that lightness and that nourishment. Another thing that could be done is to put your hand over your solar plexus, over your stomach, very, very lightly. This is the area of the pancreas. The pancreas uh, commutes with the liver, speaks to the liver and the adrenals, which alters uh, our sense of self, our sense of satisfaction, uh, the, the autonomic nervous system. And so if your pancreas is working perfectly, then you won't eat too much and your body will burn the fat, it'll burn the sugar in the liver because of the message from the pancreas. So if you put your hand just lightly over your stomach and ask your pancreas what color it needs to function perfectly physiologically, you will be amazed at how that will help you to feel balanced, to not feel too hungry, uh, to not eat too much, and to be able to burn the energy that's being stored in the glycogen uh, in the liver. So those are the the tips that I would give you, use them. And above all, love your daughter. Love your daughter.